The University of Hawaii at Hilo hosted the 2016 PacWest Cross Country Championships, welcoming the event back to the Big Island for the first time since 2006. And it just wouldn't be paradise without a little bit of culture. I mean, uh, we've had so many people here from the Hawaiian Islanders uh, Visitors Bureau, uh, volunteers, staff, before, uh, a lot of our coaches, uh, you know, just really pitch in and uh, put together all the wonderful work behind the scenes to put on a great event with the tremendous aloha spirit that I think only here in Hawaii that we can do. But race day was all business. And with conditions a bit wet and overcast, or you could just say very Hilo, it was the perfect setting for grueling competition between PacWest powerhouses. But when all was said and done, it was Cal Baptist who seized the day, setting new precedents never seen before in conference history. Starting with the Lancer women, claiming their third straight trophy behind first place overall winner Annette Somaji, the first true freshman in PacWest history to win the race. It was a big goal, so I just wanted to do my best. That's it, and, and it's an amazing feeling that I could win. And this, this is just my second race in America, and, and I'm freshman. <laughs> So it's a, yeah, it's an amazing feeling. You know, it's a great experience. I mean, we, we were definitely nervous, like everyone, with the course and, and thinking ahead two weeks to regionals. You know, we're a little concerned about uh, uh, so, you know getting hurt or just uh, things like that. But but at the same time, you know, we, we just told the kids to have fun and, and um, you know race to the conditions and enjoy it. And um, you know, uh, Hilo did a great job hosting. The, the, our kids loved the banquet last night and just had a lot of fun there. And, um, and I thought the course, you know, it ran fine today. It was just it was just sloppy and messy, but um, but it's been fun, and we're excited for, to spend some time here having fun now. So. Not to be outdone were the CBU men, who are taking the crown back to Riverside for a sixth, yes, sixth straight year. The men's individual winner was Josh Lorson of Academy of Art, who led the Urbanites to a second place team finish. Most times in a race that's going to have mud, you, you're able to plan out how to approach those muddy spots, but uh, when it starts pretty much from the gun, you just know that everyone's going through the same thing and you just got to power through it. So 